Holy crap, guys. So, what's up, guys? I am uh, sitting here looking at the pro staff, the Ducks pro staff. Uh, Ducks pro staff, right here. Ducks pro staff at gmail.com. Uh, I am literally looking at all your guys' emails uh, concerning being on Ducks Waterfowl Co. pro staff. I am absolutely blown away by the number of you, the numbers of you, how many of you, however I want to put it here, that are interested in this. Uh, this just absolutely freaking blows me away. Uh, me and Flair, we are so excited to see these kinds of results. Uh, it's going to be a daunting task going through all these guys, but this is what we wanted. This is what we I mean, expected, but not expected this this many of you. This is freaking awesome. So, guys, I'm not going to beat a dead horse. If you are interested in being on the pro staff, go check out the last video where I explain all the, uh, all the things about being on the pro staff. And uh, we will be emailing every one of you guys back the, the document that states what we need from you guys in your return email. So, go do that, guys. Uh, this is a big thing, a big movement, what we are doing in the waterfowl industry, if that makes any sense. Oh, man. Jeez. And another thing, all you new subscribers, I see every freaking one of you. Look at this. Look at it. Look at it. Look at that number right there. I don't know if you can see it, but seriously, guys, I think every flipping one of you guys I love you all this th this these numbers this is what makes me drive harder and keep content you know fresh content coming for all you waterfowl fans this is my dream to provide this type of content and I'm glad we got it going hi buddy everybody say hello to Jax hello Jackson hi buddy Sissy and Sophie. There's the turd right there. This right here is the turd of all three dogs. She is a little son of a gun, let me tell you what. As I have stated in the past, I'm going to be hitting you guys with a lot of these how-tos and tip videos. <clears throat> Excuse me. I want to get a lot of the requests done that uh, you guys have suggested. You know, this today is going to be about shooting, bettering shooting. I have one particular tip that I use literally every hunt that has always worked for me to help just just get on the the birds better putting the bead where it needs to be and shooting and killing some dang birds but as i was saying before i got sidetracked i'm trying to get these tip videos out before the hunting season starts it's going to get really 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 freaking hectic out here let me tell you what when the hunting season actually starts i'm going to be scouting my butt off i'm going to be running my butt off i'm going to be hunting my butt off so we got we got dove coming up and then we got teal so here in less than a month it's gonna get freaking crazy so i'm trying to kick these how-to videos out to propel all you guys you know through the season so i don't have to concentrate on the how-to as much you know when the season gets here because guys i'm gonna tell you what i'm gonna be freaking running like a chicken with my head cut off busy as heck which i am so excited for these results these numbers all you guys I cannot thank you guys enough for being interested in what I'm doing and what me and Flair are doing with Ducks Waterfowl. And, 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 by the way, before I forget, I just made a new playlist on the channel. It's going to have all the Ducks Waterfowl Co. updates and news. So anything new happening with Ducks, whether we have a new shirt, hoodies, any type of product, anything new coming out, anything we're doing, if we're headed somewhere, if we're wanting to go somewhere any news that's where those videos are going to go if it's ducks in particular not ducks like flying but dux you know in particular that's where you'll find it is in that ducks waterfowl news and updates playlist oh hi pretty girl hi pretty girl i cannot wait to get on you once again so guys, let's get into this juicy little vid. I'm gonna keep it short and simple because this tip in particular, you know, just the tip, this tip in particular is something that I use uh, every hunt. You know, 
starting at the beginning of the hunts, usually all of us are gonna be a hair rusty. It's easy to get better really quickly throughout the hunt. You know, you sit down, you're cold, uh, you haven't pulled, shouldered your gun yet. Uh, the first, you know, couple volleys of birds, your accuracy may not be that good. So what I'm gonna say guys is pay attention to what you're doing. If you pull up and you just get trigger happy, recognize that and be like, okay guy, you need to slow down. First of all, we all have the tendency to pull up and put the bead on the very beak, the tip, the head of the bird. Now, depending on how far these birds out, you know, how far out they're decoying, and if they're flying horizontal, I'm gonna talk about horizontal because you know, when birds are close and they're going straight up, they're a lot easier to hit, but these horizontal birds that might be, you know, 20, 30, even 35 yards, uh, these are the shots that I'm talking about because these are the ones that most of us waterfowl hunters struggle with. So guys, this is the main tip and, and main useful, you know, just tactic that I use every single time. The first shot or two, I suck. I, I, I always suck first thing in the morning. What I'll do is if I have those birds that are flying horizontal out at 20 plus, 30 plus yards, and I'm like, man, why ain't I hitting these guys? Why ain't I hitting these guys? I will recognize, oh yeah, I'm just putting the bead on the beak. What I need you guys to do is if they're flying horizontal like I just stated, I know I'm beating a dead dog when I keep repeating myself, but I want to get the point across. Start at the beak. Start working forward. So if the bird's flying this way, start at the beak. Keep moving out, 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 out as you fly. And I promise you, as you're going, the more you move out and out and out, you're going to get to a happy medium to where you're going to start smacking these birds. So when you're taking those horizontal shots, keep moving out away from the head just a little bit at a time. Each time you pull up, move out a little bit. And I promise you, I promise, I promise, you're going to eventually smack that first one. You're going to be like, oh, there's the sweet spot. Guys, and when you've moved out, 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 and when you hit that sweet spot, I'm telling you, that's the sweet spot for the day. Now, a lot of avid hunters can judge how many yards they're out and how far you need to lead them, how fast the birds are flying, you know, if the wind is kicking and really, you know, when the birds are, are uh, flaring up and when they're dipping out with the wind, you know, that, that's a whole nother scale of things. But a lot of, a lot of avid water, waterfowl hunters know the, the, the length of yards away from them tells them how far they need to lead the birds. So all I can tell you guys, the easiest thing you can do is start at the beak, you miss. The next round, start moving out, away from the front of that bird. And I promise you, you're gonna hit a sweet spot. A lot of times I've found in regular flight, in regular, regular wind, regular flight speeds, you're gonna have to put that bead, you know, physically, it's gonna be, a, you know, two foot ahead of that bird. That is a sweet spot for fast flying birds. Now, teal, they're obviously extremely fast, and you'll have to lead, lead them a little bit. Dove, extremely fast, and you're gonna have to lead them a lot of bit a lot of times because they're so fast. Now, guys, believe me, go ahead and roast me in the comments if you want to. I don't care. I know that this tactic and this tip is pretty self-explanatory, and a lot of you are like, well, I know that. Well, of course you know that, and I know that, but why I brought this up is just, you know, that last live stream, not last, but two live streams ago, when me and Flair shot those pigeons. There, I had an occurrence, it was, it was about a quarter of the way through the hunt, where I pulled up and I led just a little more. I'm like, oh yeah, I, I didn't hit the last one. I led a little more, bam. I put the bead at the same spot every time that I had birds at that 20 to 30 yard distance and I smoked them every single time. So it's just an understanding in your own head to understand, hey, I need to put the bead right here. And, and if you can get in that habit of start at the beak, move forward until you find your sweet spot. Like I said, if it's windy, it's gonna be a lot more. If it's not windy, you know, windy, if it's windy, they're gonna get out of the hole faster. So you're gonna have to lead them more. If it's not windy, it's not gonna be as much. So get used to judging your yards, how many yards your birds are away from, from you shooting physically. And I promise you, 
when you when you get used to that moving out you're gonna do it every single hunt and you're gonna have a lot better luck at shooting guys golly the old chair she's seen better days huh but uh as most of you know don't mind all that this is the foul uh, Friday studio I got all this wood I got a ton of wood back here that I'm gonna redo this entire deal this is gonna be the foul Friday man cave studio it already is but I want to make it look freaking awesome if you guys have any ideas about what I should do back here I know I'm gonna have a huge ducks logo and 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 you know banner and whatnot I'm gonna keep the stove obviously because I do a lot of winter stuff back here but I want to make a brag board for you guys so I'm gonna be opening a PO box if you guys are interested in sending stuff into me to put back here and showcase and do do subscriber box openings and mail and all that jazz let me know down below because it's I think it's kind of getting to that point to to me having a PO box uh, I, I am very proud to say that I have a lot of you subscribers and viewers that are extremely interactive and I appreciate all you guys so if that's something that you guys are interested in sending and having your stuff back here with the bow and all the ammo and 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 flares freaking dynamite let me know down low and I will go to the dang mail place whatever you want to call it and get it done <sighs> it's too beautiful to be in there but guys like I said uh, I wanted to just show my appreciation to you guys uh, the, the numbers and you guys commenting and, and emailing us that is so 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 awesome I cannot thank you guys enough uh, I know this tip video was short short and sweet but that shooting tip is something that I use all the time and pigeon hunting the other day reminded me because I used it and I was like Doo ding I need to tell you guys because once you get used to using this tactic I promise you your shooting averages will go up, 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 up. Just make it a knee-jerk reaction to use this tactic, and I promise you, you're going to have luck with it. But I want to thank each and every one of you sons of guns for what you do and watching my dumbass. I appreciate it, guys. We'll see you on the next one. Subscribe if you haven't. I love you guys. Have a good one. Peace.